Yes, we have all heard and been told time and time again about how you can get your essential omega-3 fats from consuming fish and fish oils in your diet, but as a vegan and these sources not being an option for you, where exactly can you get your omega-3 fats from and in the quantities that your body needs so it does not become deficient? Well, this is what we're going to talk about in today's video, so let's get started. Hi, it's Paul Tarnfear, holistic nutritionist and lifestyle coach at Rawson Healthy, helping you achieve a healthy weight, healthy hormones, and the body of your dreams naturally. Now, just before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell notification to stay up to date with our latest videos. It's worth mentioning here before we get going that many people, in fact, still don't realize that consuming fish and fish oils is actually risky for your health due to the environmental pollutants that have been found in fish and fish oils, like dioxins, for example, PCBs, and heavy metals like mercury, which actually is a well-known neurotoxin. So finding alternative pollution-free sources of omega-3s, even for non-vegans, is a very wise decision. As a vegan, you won't be consuming fish or fish oils, of course, but then where do you get your omega-3 fats from exactly on an all-plant foods diet? Before we dive into this, let me touch on why it is so important to not only eat enough omega-3s in your diet, but to also balance them with your omega-6 intake from the foods that you eat. It's important to understand that not only do we need to consume enough omega-3 in our diet, but also omega-6s as well. Typically, people on a SAD diet or standard American diet will consume much more omega-6 than omega-3, and this can cause problems. Now I have a question for you. Where do you get your omega-3 from? Is it from the food that you eat or from taking supplements? I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments in the comments section below. So firstly, your body uses the same enzymes to break down the omega-6 and the omega-3 from the foods that you eat. And for example, if you consume a lot of omega-6 and little omega-3 or a lot of omega-3 and just a little bit of omega-6, then this can cause an imbalance between the two omega fats in your body and you can experience health problems. Too much omega-6 can cause inflammation in the body and this is typical on a standard Western diet or a diet that's very high in fat. Now, most diets out there are way too high in omega-6 which makes getting enough omega-3 challenging. Not getting enough omega-3 can cause issues like poor quality of hair, excessive hair loss, joint pain and stiffness, depression, dry eyes, and also skin irritation and dryness. So balancing your omega-6 and 3 intake is very important, and the ratios of 4 to 1 down to 1 to 1 of omega-6 to 3 are the ideal. Now, we know omega-3s are very important for your health, but what exactly do they do for your body? Well, many things in fact, and these include help aid eye health, help deal with anxiety and depression and other mental disorders, promote heart health, cardiovascular health, with lower triglyceride levels, lower blood pressure, and reduce the chance of blood clots by actively thinning the blood. Aid bone health by boosting the amount of calcium in your bones, lower menstrual pain, so that's a big one for ladies out there every month who suffer with lots of menstrual cycle issues, and also they boost your skin health and prevent premature skin aging, and they're even thought to promote brain health through pregnancy and the early life of a child. So as you can see, omega-3 is super important for your health and is what is called an essential fat, so one you must get in your diet. So what healthy vegan foods are very good sources of omega-3? Well, these include ground flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, and also hemp seeds. Also, leafy greens like lettuce, spinach, and kale do contain some amounts of omega-3 as well. Now, we promote a low-fat, high-carbohydrate vegan diet that has lots of raw foods in it, and because it is low in fat, this means it's actually much easier to obtain a healthy balance of omega-6 to 3 and so gain all the health benefits from doing so. In our coaching program, when we help a client achieve their health transformation and get the best out of their body, we recommend getting several grams of omega-3 every day from all the foods that they consume and balancing it with their omega-6 intake so they get a healthy ratio of omega fats in their daily diet. Okay, so you might be wondering, should I perhaps be supplemented with omega-3? And this is a really good question. Now, from working with many clients over the years and from my own personal experience as well, it is definitely possible to get enough omega-3 in your diet 
and be able to convert it to what are called EPA and DHA fats in your body without the need for supplementation. And for example, in the past, I have tested myself to see that I was getting all the essential omega fats that my body needs, as well as the ones that my body needs to convert to other fats such as EPA and DHA, and all was good. This was without any supplementation and simply having chia seeds every day, mostly in my smoothies. You could also just start taking some omega-3 supplements to see if they do aid you with your health problems and do this for say a couple of months and see if there's any positive changes. Though personally, I would get tested first to see what your levels are. Okay, now if you want to change your own eating plan to one that is a health promoting, low fat, a high carb, whole plant foods one that I've talked about in this video, then I would like to invite you to our free online masterclass where you can learn the five steps that our clients use to balance their hormones naturally, lose between 10 and 50 pounds of excess weight without any carbohydrate restriction and achieve the body of their dreams. So the link for that is rawsomehealthy.com forward slash webinar. Thanks very much for watching.